Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Dredge. Let's dive back into our save. So we're heading towards a new, I want to say biome as well as new area now, which would be quite exciting. I want to have one more shot though at finding this treasure chest, because I, I read some people online talking about where it was, and I was in the right area. I, I kind of know what I'm looking for now. I've no idea what's in it. It might be a complete waste of time. I do kind of want to check it out. Whereabouts? Okay, yeah. So we pretty much want to head due west of here. I might, actually, let's um, see what's here first. I th well, we kind of know what what these what the weird version of these fish are. But let's um, let me grab a few. There's a trophy one. Oh, that's interesting. Cursed Fangtooth. A small and feeble mind, easily conquered, now brought screaming from the depths. It lies powerless. I don't, I don't think we've seen that before. Um, that's interesting. I thought we'd, I thought we'd seen what the Fangtooth uh, variant was. Here it is. Ah, I see it now. I was kind of looking for something on the surface, but it's not. Lying just beneath the surface of the water is a floating chest, held down by a chain that disappears into the deep. What do we got? Silver plate. One of these expensive metal things, that's cool. Uh, a research part, always welcome. A bag of coins. A silver trinket. And a ruby ring. So nothing um, spectacular or game changing, I would say, but, you know, money. Money's good. So as I was saying in the last video, so we've, we've, yeah, we've kind of been to these ones, I th think. Have we been to these ones? I think so. I think we've done these little islands. Maybe not these ones. Possibly not these ones. So... I think what I might do then is teleport to Blackstone Isle. We can visit the Trinkets guy. Now we've kind of got a hold full of them. Um, and then from there kind of head up to Twisted Strand, which is our next destination. We'll sort of moor here. Looks like that's the only mooring point in Twisted Strand. Uh, I keep doing that. What's this? Banish. Okay. Huh. Let's do it. I feel nice and zippy now. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll fill up with stuff. I'm not going to repair the crab pots, I don't think. I can feel like money isn't really much of a concern for us right now. Resources, however, are. Ah. Okay, uh, silver plate, 66. Uh, bag of doubloons, 165. Uh, ring, 71. Uh, this for 33, is that it for stuff we picked up? I think so. So we've got two and a half grand now. Which feels pretty good. And zip over here. Mm. Check this pot, there might be a few in here. There is, I'm taking all those. House keeper isn't coming to shout at us this time. Don't overcommit yourself, especially when that sun starts going down. Better to come back with a small catch than to not come back at all. Okay, yeah, silverfish, fish, 150. Uh, we'll send that to storage and that to storage. Let's have a quick look at our storage. There isn't that much there. I could probably, um, I think probably just discard the maps now, right? Found the treasure. Let's organise in here a little bit. I have rods here. And equipment on that side. Sort of resources over here. We'll just keep research stuff up here. Um, so, quick look then at the uh, dry dock I want to have a look at. So this new hull. We need three wood. So maybe, as a priority is, we're around in the marrows. Let's do a little trip round and look for timber, because I think there is 
Certainly there was some timber deposits around, not too far away. What's this going? Oh, we've got those before. Like this. This is timber, isn't it? No. This this might be fabric. It's metal. Okay, well we are low on metal, so let's catch this. Maybe we'll just have a day or two of just dredging resources around like the starting area, because we do need a lot more of this stuff. I'd like to add more rod spots as well. Um, because I, I don't know what the what new biome what it's going to have, but I suspect we might get into something like the mangrove, which we haven't seen yet. And we know we kind of know where the volcanic is. That's in that sort of <laughs> higher level area we went to. I think it was in episode four, um, which was a bit of a, a bit of a shock to the system. I don't, oh, is this it? Is this timber? Might be. Yeah. Uh, fabric. Well, again, we're going to need this. Sort of the dangers in this starting area seem fairly tame now compared to the, the kraken or the leviathan in Gale Cliffs that was just wrecking our boat even when we were like fishing for stuff. Um, but I will put my light on, and I will load up my speed boost. In fact, I'm actually what I might do is load up the uh, the banish, and if something comes near us, we'll give that a go and see what it does. Let's just fish. Oh, we're back at Greater Marrow. Okay, what I might do then is head over towards the Little Marrow around the outside of this island. Now this madness cloud, let's see what we can do with this. Oh, it's gone. Where's it gone? There it is. Is it working? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It did kind of go away. Sort of. Oh, we're still freaked out. Uh, more metal. Okay, sure. We still haven't found any wood, but this is all useful stuff. Oops. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a bit full up on this stuff. Get one more. She can't fit any, even if we found wood at this point, we <laughs> couldn't fit it in. Um, but let's just keep going round and we'll see if we can find a deposit. Oh, I feel so zippy now, so quick. What's this? That looks like wood. So let's deposit the stuff we found over at Little Marrow and we'll come back and dredge that stuff. We need three, remember, so I'm hoping that's at least a medium deposit. Uh, first of all, let's sleep for an hour just to calm ourselves down a little bit. And then we'll this stuff in here. Okay, well, let's go back for the timber. It does make it a bit more skiddy is the only thing, so... Oh, it's only a low. I wonder how many we'll get here. I'm thinking maximum of two. deposit this. What I might do is go over to the Builder's Island and um, have a look over there. Go, just sort of go around those islands and just see if there's any timber because I really want to get the next hole going before I go to the next area. It's 
We're only really looking for wood. That's where I found the castaway guy, that was fun. Uh, oh, is there wood right by him? I think that looks, looks like wood to me. Cool. Hopefully, well, we only need one, but hopefully we'll get a couple. No, just the one, but that is all that we need. I mean, as we're here, I might just um, sort of do a quick figure eight around these islands just to see what else we might see in terms of resources. Oh, well, there's a swordfish there. I don't think we've caught one of these before. Sailfish. Ooh. It's, uh, it's an interesting shape. Um... We can't catch another one. Um, <laughs> we have nowhere for it to go. However, that's good. It's in our um, encyclopedia now, so that's cool. Let's check what these are. Uh, that's like God. I don't really need the money, so I'll just leave those where they are. There's more basalt around here. I mean, I might be in this area at night and a bit panicked, I suppose. Not that long till night time now. There's the builder. There might be some stuff near her. I think there I think there actually is some stuff near her. What's this? This looks like... Mm, that would be tricky currently. Uh, but that's some wood and some fabric, I think. We can try for more wood. Oh, it's a research part. Okay. But I mean, they're always good. get another one in is the question oddly enough no I don't think I can but maybe if this there's, there's some fabric here I might be able to do and then we're gonna go and have a look at that basalt I might even go into one of those madness clouds just to get a bit more un unhinged before we do that Actually, I just realised what I could do is dock at the builders and use the storage there just to dump some of this stuff. Probably not a bad idea. They're in there. Keep the swordfish with us. It's still fresh. I don't. I, I would prefer for it not to rot. Oh, oh there goes my. There goes my torch. <laughs> All right, let's just get a little bit crazy. Oh, <laughs> rock appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, that'll do. I want to go and find the, um, the basalt thing now. It's going to be a little bit hairy getting around here though because I don't have a headlight. Oh, plus. It is. Damn, I, I might die just through not being able to see stuff. Where is that basalt thing? I thought it was near here. Where am I? not. Sure I was going around this island when I saw it. And it's almost daylight again, unfortunately. 
maybe it was round maybe it was round this one oh great <laughs> something's infected a, a little swordfish Here. I mean, I'll have a go at it, but I think it only works at night. Oh, no, it's actually... Uh, this actually is active. Cool, all right. The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. Place our hand on the stone. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. A ship tossed by waves in the night. Fog unfolds like a blanket from the deck, spilling across the ocean and crashing against the land. A distant lighthouse flickers a signal. Ooh. Pretty cool. All right, well, I'm going to... We're in pretty bad shape, so I'm actually going to teleport back to Blackstone Isle. And we're going we're gonna to go and repair, because uh, we took a, few, took a few bangs there. But I believe that we're now going to be able to upgrade to our next level of hull, which is pretty cool. We're going to get more cargo room. Quite a few, I think, actually. Nine spots, I believe. The mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes and his words blur with the waves crashing around you. Oh, hmm. okay. If... See... Bog... Jeeps! Rest! Careful! Nightmares. You stumble past him into town. <laughs> oh, we've gone kind of crazy. Let's sell our swordfish. Wow, that alone is worth 169. That's pretty cool. We're going to repair at the shipwright. Um, and we're going to go to the dry dock and we're going to get a new hull. Thank you very much. Uh, so, what else? Uh, rod spots need three wood, two wood for nets, four wood for cargo spaces. Two wood for an engine space, two... Okay, so we don't have enough wood for any of these things. Um, I know there is some over by the builder, though. At least one. Which would be cool. Um, so let's just rest. We're, we're, we're massively freaking out. Oh, our boat looks new. That's cool. Uh, I'll have a look at the interior in a second when we're all rested up. There we go. Okay, so what does our boat look like now? Ooh, interesting. I guess you can probably eventually just fill this all up with engine slots, I guess. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking quite nice now. It's uh, get, get, get a lot more stuff in, I would hope. In terms of further upgrades, what, what would I like to prioritize? I think... Probably either rods, which I would need two wood for. Cargo space, but we've got quite a lot of that now. Or engine space. It only allows us, only modifies one cargo space to hold engines, though. So we can only get three more in total. I wonder what that would look like. I mean, we're moving pretty quickly at the moment, so maybe rods, if we could get another couple of wood, we could do that. Um, so if there's only three, maybe it's one, maybe one, two, three, like that. That would be symmetrical, wouldn't it? But an extra two, is it two rod spaces? Yeah, we could get something else in. Uh, let's have a little think about research. So if we were to do more rods, I, I want to kind of wait until we get to um, the new area. But I think this one will probably be, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a mangrove place, looking at kind of the map. It looks kind of, kind of like that. Um, so if I had another two spots, I'd be able to fit that without losing anything, I think. Although there's this. I haven't got enough research parts, but I could do both of these. And then this one would kind of do a bit of everything, which would be cool. Um, 
Joe, let's actually research both of these for now. Because it's kind of the route I want to go. The dry dock, it's two new rods. So it's probably going to be... I don't know. It'll be one of these sides, won't it? And whichever side it is, we'll be able to, to get a new rod in to do the mangrove stuff. Which would be quite cool. afford both, but we'll probably concentrate on the mangrove one for now, depending. So let's go back to the builders then. Her place. So I'm pretty sure there's some wood there that we missed. I'm sorry if this is a little frustrating for anyone who kind of just wants me to get on with the main story, but I kind of, I do want to get a couple of upgrades in place before, before we go to that next area. Even one wood here allows us to get an extra rod in, so... There we go. Was this metal? We'll grab some more. I mean, all this stuff is going to be useful. Oh. Sleep at the wheel there. Catch another swordfish after this as well. It was worth quite a lot of money. If there's room. Which there might be. Let's go and have a look. was the swordfish. Yeah, the earrings, okay. Um, they're actually going to disappear fairly soon because of losing the daylight. Yeah. I don't think that was I don't think that was swordfish anyway. Let's go and get our boat upgraded. Might as well sell these pearl earrings as well as we're here. I like that the boat looks different now. I think that's cool. Uh, 27 bucks, why not? Let's dump some of this stuff into storage. Probably don't need any more metal for a little while. Oh, we feel really quick now. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a rock. It was just our crab pot. It was fine. Right. Uh, so let's have a look at the new rod spot. Oh, no, that actually needs three wood. Ooh. I might rest and then go back to the builder's place in the morning, just in case that deposit has um, respawned. I think there was one over by Little Mara as well, so we'll check there too. I don't know if those resources respawn, but I think they, I think they must do, because I'm pretty sure I've emptied those out previously. I don't know how long they'll take to respawn, however. Uh, there's like fish. Okay, well, let's take a little spin around the outside. Ooh. Uh, that's like fabric. We're doing alright for 
fabric, honestly. I would get it, but it it does eat away the the hours if you when you're dredging stuff. Um. All seeing cod. Oh, oh, what have we got? <laughs> I'll have a check of that in a minute. It's in our it's in our trawler net, I think. Staring outwards, unblinking, eyes burrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. Ooh. Ah, oh, here's the swordfish. Let's grab one of these. I'll have a look at that in a minute as well and see what bonus it gave us. There we go. Don't know if we'd be able to get another one in. Probably not. They're a bit big, aren't they? What's this? Have I done these before? Probably. Let's go over to these islands, they might have something. Oh, this is new. A rat tail. I don't think I can get any more in. like valuables it doesn't look like wood ditto Tuna. We've had those before. It did look like there might be a sort of weird variant though. So maybe we'll keep going. spooky boat in our home port. Let's, uh, let's just ready the, uh, the banish in case. Let's see if it actually works on it. Ah! Maybe it did because it's gone. It was a slightly disappointing trip. We got, got quite a lot of money for the, from the fishmonger. Um, probably got to repair nets and stuff, I dare say. There's a bit of that to do. Right, let's spend the night. Well, as I'm on this to turn into a wild goose chase, also, I do want to do this. Um, so what if I kind of head east from Blackstone and just kind of do these little things? So I don't know if I've been to particularly these islands. Um, so there's a chance to explore and hopefully get some timber as well. Sort of off 
this way, isn't it? Is that no, that's not one that's going north. Um, yeah, well, I think I, I think I have done these islands, but I think that's where the blue robed guy is. We know where quite a lot of fish are now. I'm almost tempted to see what he wants and see if we can fulfil it. But first of all, let's get our rods going. Let's not get distracted. We will catch fish as we see them out here, just in case it's something new. Stingray. Stingrays are, are not new. That's alright. What have we got here? Uh, it doesn't look new, to be honest. There's a shipwreck over there. That might be good. Pretty sure we'll have got this already. Oh, a gnashing perch. Okay, yeah, we've definitely seen that before. Have we seen this before? Oh no, it's one of those. <laughs> it's another one of those. Uh, a rotting chest peeks out from the skeleton of a wrecked ship. Look inside. Oh, we got a wood. I'm more pleased about that than the uh, trinkets we found. So I need one more, I think. One more lumber. Okay, so whereabouts is this? Oh, oh there's one to the a little one to the north. I don't know if we've seen that. Oh, is this one? We probably have then. Where else might we go? I mean, we could go around Gale Cliffs again. We're right here, aren't we? So I wish to, I wish the merchants sold like the stuff you need. That would be nice. Because when you need like just one particular thing, like a bit of wood or a bit of metal. Quite hard to track down. Oh, what's this? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> the speed is actually a bit of a hindrance around these in this area. Oh, let's try and, oh, there's the big thing. Let's try and keep out of its way. We're pretty quick now. Oh. No rest for the wicked. Uh, that's not wood. Oh, that thing's chasing us. I don't think it'll catch us. I think we're too quick now. Oh, that's the wood I want, though. That's, is that thing still chasing us? Yes. <laughs> Go away. I'm going to kind of circle back to where I want to be. I wonder if Banish would work. Let's just get that going as well. I get the lumber we want. It's a medium one, so we're going to keep going here for as long as we can. Let's oh, research. Okay, well we've definitely got enough, so let's uh, let's head back to the floating dock here, where we can also upgrade. No, nope, can't get through there. Uh, no. <laughs> ah, fish is there again. Did we make a way through here? I hope we did. Uh, yeah, where do I want to go? Probably around here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
There's quite a lot of inertia on the, uh, the faster engine. Oh god, is that fish still chasing me? Here we go, I think we're through. Hey. I suppose I could check the crab traps here. I can't remember if I repaired them or not. Uh, but we'll take them all. That's good. Fish market. Some little fish, a couple hundred bucks. And let's go to my storage. The research bit there. There's there. A lot of wood. Right, first of all, let's repair. I suppose you're going to say you couldn't avoid the rock that appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. I've heard it all before. Let's get you fixed up. Alright. Um, let's go dry dock. And we want rods. Oh, it tells you where they're going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can get another. We can get that rod in that we want. Upgrade. Right. Shipyard again. You and I, we've got to avoid risks as much as we can. There's no crew to bail us out if things go south. So what have I currently got? Abyssal, Hadal, Oceanic, Coastal, Coastal Shallow. So this one does... Sh Ah, tell you what, if we, uh, yeah, if we uninstalled this, and we bought both of these, then we've covered off coastal, shallow, volcanic mangrove, which is a pretty nice fit around our other stuff, and we've got the money for it. There we go. I think we can, yeah, look at all that, so we can do... I think that must be all the um, all the biomes now. That's cool. Uh, let's rest up because probably a bit panicked. Right, so let's undock. Uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense to teleport to Blackstone Isle, although, to be honest, the speed we're going now... We're there almost instantly, aren't we? I'm just thinking, have I... Have I looked around these things? I don't know if I've looked around this one down here. Before we head, before, before we head off, the last thing I might do today is just have a look around these little islands, uh, sort of to the west and then, and then south of there. Um, just to see what's there. Might be something. Oh, there's another water spout going off there. So then we got this little one. And then in the next episode, I think we'll be, you know, properly equipped to to go off to the next biome, which would be cool. This might be new. Oops. Tiger mackerel. Now I think pretty sure we've seen those before. I mean, I think you can tell because you don't get an encyclopedia entry. Uh, what's that? That's just floating garbage, basically, isn't it? Let's do a little trip around this one. So what's over there? Have I been over there? I think I have actually. Oh, there's a little dock here. Don't know if I've been to this one. Oh, it's got that sort of abyssal writing on it. Campsite. Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. What do you want to do? Let's inspect the symbols. The symbols span the breadth of the camp, twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together into what must be words. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Can we inspect the last symbol more thoroughly? A glint of metal shines up through the sand. Okay, we've got a little ring. That's fine. Take it for yourself. 
Uh, inspect the footprints. Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating they're left by a man, but you don't know much about footprints. Uh, we'll search the campsite. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric is collapsing at the base of some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable about it. All right, we'll leave then. There's a little bay here. There's something over there. Let's see what fish these are first. Uh, I think we've seen these. I think it's a red snapper. Yeah. Oh, it's the yellow guy. Okay, so we've got blue guy who is... Um, I think he's here. And we've got yellow guy who's here. So again... We're just going to leave him alone until we know a little bit more about where we can get the various fish he's probably going to ask us for. Because I don't want him to die. I want to be able to do it within the time limit and get the bonuses. Speaking of which, I haven't checked this one yet. Uh, so a plan for the future. 15% chance not to reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Well, that's quite good. Catch more fish. Uh, pretty sure I know what that is. Ooh. Oh no, probably can't probably can't catch dolphins. <laughs> that seems like seems bad. Uh, we'll check this walker. It's probably those little perch again, isn't it? Alright, fine, let's catch one. Okay, so that's uh, that's this little group of islands done. I'm just gonna head to this one over here because again I don't know if I've if I've checked that out, so that's pretty much due west, it's this one, isn't it? Do, on the open water, this sort of extra speed is really nice. There's something here. Uh, looks like one of those loose jaw things, but we'll just... Yeah. Just in case it was a different variant. I thought I'd have a look. But it wasn't. Oh. Oh. Have we seen this one before? Slab of rock cuts, by the way. Four large, powerful fish shapes. We have seen this one before, haven't we? Um, is that a loose jaw? I thought it was a hammerhead shark. Now I'm wondering. I think it might be cod and loose jaw. Is, if I kind of do it like that, it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Let's go back and catch some more of these. Few. All right. Well, let's go and put these in the um, little altar thing and see what happens. I think one of them must be a hammerhead shark. Cause there's no other way for me to kind of. Um, to get this shape. I'll put all these in for now. So there's clearly another sort of fish that's got to go in there. 
Could be a hammerhead. I've only, I've only caught one of those. Might have been near here. Let's um, go on a banish. Where are we near? Quite near. Quite near the trader. We head west. South. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Chasing us quite, quite furiously, that wasn't it? Um, yeah, let's just have another rest. Let's have another rest and calm down, eh? Oops, I don't want that. I want the fish market. Oh. I'll just pull it to storage. So I kind of want to go out and look for a hammerhead now. They tend to give you good stuff, these little altars. Uh, that's a possibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's see if we can uh, finish off this altar thing. So we need to remove some of these, don't we? So this would go in like that. Okay, so probably put that in first. Okay. So that doesn't really work, does it? That works. And that works. Then we need one to... Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't work, would it? So we need one that's that shape. Or a one. If we go and catch one of those little guys, that might work. I think we've seen loads of them, weren't we? not one of these. Um, they were kind of near these islands, weren't they? I think. These are too big. again. Right, let's go and see if we can finish it off. Does it? Nope. <laughs> okay. Four large, powerful fish. It does look like the cods, in fairness. Maybe they have to go here. I 
Well, I think we'll come back to that later, maybe. Unless I can see any around here. These are probably locked jaws again. So I'll have a quick spin around the vicinity. Oh, <laughs> they've all gone to bed. Right, I'm quite near Blackstone, maybe we should just go home. I know there are cod round there, so maybe we'll catch a couple of those in the morning and head back. Go and sleep at Blackstone, maybe. Oh, we've got a brood squid. That's a new one. Actually, let's go back to Greater Mario. I've got some stuff to sell now. Oh, I should turn my light on, shouldn't I? <laughs> Just as well. And he crashed into that. Sell a fish. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Uh, I'll just quickly repair our bits and bobs. I'm um, gonna sleep. Listen to the dog. So we're looking. We're looking for cod. And I know there are schools of cod around here somewhere. Oh, like this. We'll just take all that we can catch here. Just there might be different combinations we have to do. being able to make good time across the open water. Is that the one? Oh, it's, it's, um, it's this one down here we're shooting for, aren't we? We're actually pretty much bang on. Maybe the dog will stop objecting to whatever he's objecting to. It's probably... Uh, that's the thing I've said in, in past videos and past series. We we live on a, on a green out the front where people like to walk their dogs and Having a little dachshund as we do, it means that every time a dog outside barks, he um, he wants to be sticking his oar in. This is new? Ghost shark, look at that. Oh, oh, I think that's one of the ones we need. That was pretty fortuitous. Looking at the shape of it, I think that's exactly what we need. Jackson's absolutely lovely dogs. But they um, they love the sound of their own voice, put it that way. <laughs> right, so we'll take that out. And we'll take that out. And we'll put our ghost shark in here. And I'm going to take this out. And put in a cod. I'm going to take that out. And put in another cod. And I'm hoping this is it. Oh. It could just be cod and... It might not be the lock jaws. Because that does look like lock jaws to me. I'm not confused because I would have thought this was the perfect setup. There's even one, two, three, four types of fish. Yeah, I don't know.
I don't know. I don't know. But I think we might leave it there for now, rather than sort of go off on a extended wild goose chase. Um, but thanks very much for watching this episode of Dredge. When we come back, I might try and solve this puzzle. Then we'll move on to our, our new area. And, uh, yeah, carry on from there. So thanks very much. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, as I hope you have, please do hit the thumbs up button. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this playthrough, uh, about the game itself. Any ideas as to what fish I might put in here? That would be... Um, gratefully received as well. And finally if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed, it'd be great if you could do so, because uh, that'd be amazing to have you as part of the channel. So thanks very much one last time, and I'll hope to see you again next time for more Dredge. Bye for now.